Hey y'all, today we're going to show you how to cook a turkey breast in your slow cooker. It's going to be juicy, it's going to be flavorful, and we're going to do it all while having a whole lot of fun. I've splashed it everywhere, channeling my inner Mikey. Uh -huh. I'll clean that up later. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, my beautiful wife's cooking blog, and today we're going to show you how to make a turkey breast in your slow cooker that won't be dry, it won't be flavorless, it won't be jerky, it will be good stuff. I got to do this for the blog, I don't know, probably about three years ago, mm -hmm. and I researched different brines, come up with my own, and I am digging the way we do our turkey around here. So here's what you're going to need for the following ingredients. Well, you're going to need a turkey, preferably Tom, right here. This is my buddy Tom. He's such a turkey. But he is an eight pound turkey breast. I think in the blog it says to get a nine pound turkey breast. This is the biggest one we could find and it will work out just fine. You also need one half cup of kosher salt, one half cup of sugar, one thing, this is 10 ounces, which is one and one quarter cup, because a pint is a pound, a world around, and I did the math and carried the one, and 10 ounces, a cup and a quarter of soy sauce. You want one half cup of Worcestershire sauce. Lee and Perrins, anybody? Other people make it too, but I can say Lee and Perrins a lot easier than I can Worcestershire. Read the directions. You also want two teaspoons of celery seed and two teaspoons of uh, country French. Now country French is from Penzi's. If you don't have that or something like it, you can use poultry seasoning. It'll work just fine. And what you're going to do is this. You're going to take your salt, put it in there. In and that's a not a crock pot. That is not a crock doing? pot. That is a pot. Just a regular pot, a stock pot, a great big pot. Because we're going to give Tom a bath. We're going to let him go to the spa for a while, like say an hour for each pound that's in there, eight hours worth of brining. We're actually going to do this overnight, so oh, he's going to get in there for about 12 hours before we cook him. That just means more flavor. We're making a brine, y'all. That's the whole reason we're talking about it right now with our half cup of sugar and then our celery seed. I'll put it on my dry stuff first and then our country French right or in there. Or poultry seasoning. Or poultry seasoning, whatever you got. 10 ounces, one and one quarter cup of soy sauce. Now, Mikey, 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 this sounds yes. very salty. It is, but that's okay. It's a brine. It's not gonna, all that salt is, is not gonna penetrate and get into that meat. Is it gonna give it flavor? Absolutely. But it's gonna sit in there and soak into the meat a little bit, and then you're gonna wash most of it off from the outside when you're done with the brine. This is one half cup. So oh, whoosh, 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 this sauce. is not what you're going to crock it in. No, goodness no. This is an overnight let it sit and make it make it uh, flavorful, if you will. This is what's going to give it that really juicy, good flavor. See this? This is warm water. This is a lot of warm water. Am I going to use it all? I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to use enough right now so that I can dissolve my sugar and my salt in that brine, a little bit more, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Tom and I'm going to put him down in that brine, so come on Tom, I'm going to go breast down just to make sure the meat does all get in that pot and it just fits. Now I'm going to take the rest of this water and I'm going to fill this pot up just until it covers Tom. I might need to go get some more. We'll see here in just a minute. Tom's floating! He's floating! Now if I were to put Tom down in there, if I was to hold Tom's head underwater, I need just a little bit more. So I'll be right back with a little bit more water. And we will continue to fill up that pot. And that should be enough. Maybe if I turn Tom just a little. Now you may you want to be very careful with this when you put Tom in there. There we go. That'll work. Maybe some press and seal. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this with a lid or some press and seal something to keep Tom underwater. 
I'll put just a hair more in there. Because when I did this for the blog, I filled this thing to the brim. And when we came back the next day, I don't know, it was about a half inch or an inch or so, that water was gone. That's because it was all in Tom. Tom thir Tom's thirsty. He, he likes to drink a lot overnight. So now, that's all we're going to do. I'm going to wash my hands. Tom's going to go in the fridge overnight. And where in the fridge is Tom going to go? In the bottom shelf, because that's poultry. You don't want your poultry juices, water, whatever, to get down on anything, so you put him on the lowest level that you can in order to prevent any of those juices with the, the, the poultry. Yes. Of getting all over your fridge. You yeah. definitely don't want that. Keep I definitely don't want it on my hands. So yeah. I'm going to go wash my hands, and then when we come back, Tom will be brined. We will be hungry, and we'll start to cook this chicken in three, two, one. Where did Mikey go? <laughs> <laughs> well, Mikey has a bit of an eye uh, injury right now, so we thought you probably, um, we need him to heal up, and in the meantime, the turkey still has to go on. So that's why I'm here. He's behind the camera doing my job with one eye, right? Well, that's because... You're the one I love. Uh, when we can't stop progress, we've got to make this poultry yes. in motion. <laughs> the turkey has to uh, go on. So, <laughs> I uh, we have, how long has this been brining, my dear? Uh, we put it in about 6.30 last night. It's now almost 1.30, so that's uh, 12, uh, 16, 12, and 6 is 18, about 19 hours. Okay. So, that turkey should so, be well brined. Yes. And it looks uh, Tom like from has here, been able to be drinking up the liquid. Looks like he's drank up about a quarter inch of yep. that liquid. Yep. And so what we're going to do is, since uh, we're we're going to take him and rinse him off, this is just a um, bowl of water that we're just going to use to kind of rinse a little bit of that really salty brine off of him. Now, why aren't you using the sink? Because we don't want to like turn on the sink and splash his lovely uh, juices everywhere and then have a mess to clean up because it's much easier to just clean up this flat surface. Yeah, we're just going to give him a quick bowls. rinse. Yep. And so, oh my goodness, did you hear him exhale? <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's like, like oh. Ooh. Yes. Uh, again, taking Tom to the spa, just kind of rinsing off some of that salty brine. Um, it doesn't have to, This there's no real, like, it's already done the job. It's absorbed it into, um, into the turkey. So yeah, it's in the skin. we just it's wanted in to get the excess the off. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer him over to my slow cooker so that I can start putting on the poultry seasoning that I've already sprinkled out. You going breast side up or breast side down? Well, uh, he's going to cook as close to breast side down as I can, but honestly, it looks like he's going to have to go sideways in order to fit my slow cooker because he's really well, tall. Isn't that breast side up, though? Right now it is, but I put him in here this way so I could season this side and then flip it. So I have two tablespoons of my poultry seasoning measured out here and I'm just gonna just sprinkle it on and rub it around so that Tom gets well seasoned and this is gonna just bring out even more of those flavors mm -hmm. that we kind of built in with the brine and boy is that gonna make your kitchen smell good yes it already does it's a very flavorful Put a little bit inside Okay, and so ideally I would like, if I had a deeper crock for the shape of this turkey breast, I would just like to crock it this way. Mm -hmm. um, and if I try to put on my lid, I'm fairly confident. So what would you do in a case like that? See, that lid will definitely not fit. No, I'm just going to turn him sideways, and then as he cooks, well, first of all, that works. So that's going to work. All right. So, What's another way you could do it? Let's say that it was too big and the lid wouldn't fit no matter how you turn Tom. Um, technically, you could, um, you could maybe even split the breast and cut him. What about a foil tent? Or a foil tent. You could do that too. And what he's talking about is like going around the lid with aluminum foil. Um, it, 
to, to seal off the lid with the crock so that steam can't get out of because that's what the lid is doing is keeping the steam in and then that way um, all the heat still stays in there and eventually the turkey is going to cook down just a little bit and the lid would go ahead and fall back down. Here's my question. Yes. Uh, guy in the back. Good looking guy in the yes. back. When I ask him questions. Yes. Um, so you've got one side of the breast up and one side of the breast down. Would you recommend turning it halfway I through? I probably will. Halfway through. Um, I'm going to wash my hands really quickly before doing the very last piece of all of this. So um, I don't know. Entertain them with a turkey joke there guy in the back. <laughs> I'm like For the a, first time in your life, you're speechless. I, I cannot That's think awesome. of a turkey joke. In the comments down below, leave your best clean turkey joke. <laughs> clean is operative word. Miss Ad will read your comments. Yes, she's the one that does so. all the proofreading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to put that over there. Um, so what our last step is, is we're going to set the slow cooker, I'm going to move this over. We're going to set this slow cooker, which isn't plugged in. Make sure you plug it in first. Yes. yes. Slow cooker, we're going to set it on low and just let it go on low. We're not going to set the programmable time because we're going to let our meat thermometer do the talking. Um, the FDA recommends that you cook to an internal temperature of 165 degrees and we have, and we can link these down below, we have lots of these uh, uh, meat thermometers that you can actually put inside the crock um, that will tell you what the internal temperature. You can also put it inside the oven. It has a little magnet on it. I wonder, yep, there you go. You can stick it on the outside and then stick your probe um, into the meatiest part of whatever you're cooking and that's our chicken or our, not chicken breast our turkey breast at this point but then it will um, set an alarm once you get to that um, temperature so I'm going to set this actually I prefer um, 170 from a texture texture standpoint um, for it to at least reach 170 so I'm going to just lift this up and then I'm going to find a meaty part that I can hopefully get this in that's not going to have the probe up against the lid so it doesn't affect. Oh, 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 Michael. Ow. And you also want to avoid, like, as I'm putting that in there, I can feel where the bone is, and so you don't want it to rust right up against a bone. You want it in the meaty part. So, again, my probe isn't touching my lid, it isn't touching the corner. And it's not touching, it's only in the meaty part of the turkey breast right now. And immediately, <laughs> my um, thermometer temperature dropped when I did that. So that tells me it is working. So I've just got it going now, and I'm going to let it um, keep cooking. And so once this alarm goes off, we'll take, what time is it? It's 1.30. So um, we'll tell you how long it took us to do our 8-pound turkey breast to 170. So we'll be, and we'll clean up the station because all of this stuff needs to get disposed of and not splashed everywhere. So we will see you back here. It may be me, it may be him. Who knows what you're gonna get in three, two, one. And we're back, or I'm back. He's still back there. I'm here. Yes, so his eye situation hasn't, oh, oops, sorry. His eye situation hasn't gotten any better. But no. um, it is, Eight and a half, almost nine hours later, and we are calling it. Because we kept trying to get to 170, but we were at 165. And it doesn't seem to want to uh, go any further. And the meat, I checked it a minute ago, is tender. So I'm going to just go ahead and go with it um, because it is safe. Um, so what we're going to do is pull out my meat thermometer. And we've checked it in a couple different places while cooking. Um, one of the things we did do about halfway through since our um, turkey breast was really big and awkward is we uh, flipped it um, to make sure that both sides were getting um, equal cooking time um, because whatever side is on the bottom is cooking hotter than what's cooking on the top. So, but anyhow, it is nice and tender. 
and juicy as I'll get out. So here we go. Don't drop the turkey. I'm not going to. I've already done that once as I was flipping it. I'm actually going to turn it because my bottom side here. Look it's just that. really tall this way, isn't it? Tom was a tall turkey. Yes. Now, if you are a fan of turkey skin, which isn't something that we really, you know, care a whole lot about in our family we like the meat um, but if you are a fan of the turkey skin and you want to crisp this up you could just put it on a lined cookie sheet and pop it under your broiler to kind of crisp up that skin we do that with our um, oh our chicken all the time so but if you do it don't walk away from no, it no you've got to stay with it and watch and i'm probably going to cut this all the wrong way and i'm sorry i don't usually carve the turkey in the family are you going to tell me how to do this correctly or am i just gonna take a fork and stick in it yeah. and then yes yeah. like this way yes you'll see, oh you'll see wow the grain. huh you'll see the grain whenever you get yeah into it. it is so nice and tender oh it's wow like you could fine. do that with a butter knife yep so that's good news. I'm gonna cut it this way just to get a little piece off of this because we're going it's so late tonight we're gonna go ahead and package this up so that tomorrow Mikey can run this up. Yeah to the our, fire. our guys in the fire department are gonna have a good turkey lunch tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep so here's my piece of turkey. Now give it the honest taste test. Yes and so I don't know if you can see that because honestly, I'm blinded by these lights. I'm having contact issues today. She's blinded by the light. <laughs> so here we go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is not a dried out turkey breast at all. Yay. It is super moist. The brine did its job. Um, I'm typically a dark meat fan because I like the turkey meat not to be dry but this 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 is perfect so yes I very much like it mm. yes 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 so if you are looking for a way to save real estate in your oven while you're cooking up all of your Thanksgiving goodies I would recommend this I would also say if you're trying to maybe cook something a little bit smaller um, definitely try that brine so that it will make this moist because like I said we had to crock this for about almost nine hours to get it where we wanted it um, if you did that without a brine I would be pretty fairly certain that it you would probably dirty. dry out mm -hmm. so um, I think I think this um, actually is a really great way to um, have your turkey and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> so if you like what you saw here today, guys, if you could give us a thumbs up, we'd appreciate it. If you are not a member of the Croc Posse, click subscribe and you will instantly become a member of our crock potting family here if you want to check up check out more additional ways to support this channel go on and pop over to patreon.com backslash recipes that crock and you can find us over there as well if you keep watching we'll keep cooking and all will be well Bye. i have turkey in my teeth too and i can't see And if you keep, I never remember what this is. What is it? Definitely click subscribe. Take three. <laughs> and so Mikey's going like this behind the camera. He wants me to snap. So It's part of the magic. I, you want me to snap like this, not like this. I still have turkey in my teeth.